Before I start this video, I need to make a disclaimer. I am not a technical support person. I don't work for a cell phone company or anything. I'm a normal person who gets very curious when software makes me angry and I try to fix it. With that said, let's move on. My name is Trevor. Now this is going to be a lengthy video because I am describing issues that I have and remedies that I have discovered that work for me. Now I don't know what this will do for other people. But here goes. I signed a two year contract with Verizon Wireless two weeks ago, and I received the BlackBerry Storm 2 or the BlackBerry 9550, which is this phone right here. Now, I am about to be on my third phone. Now, that is pretty pathetic because I don't think anybody should have to go through three phones to fix any issues. You shouldn't have to go through three phones, period. Three anything. Now, this is my second one. I will be going through my third one. Now, my first phone, it <clears throat> rebooted two or three times a day, and the SD card was not secure. <clears throat> it <clears throat> was coming disconnected, and it was reconnecting rapidly, five, six times within five minutes. <clears throat> Sorry. Now, I called Verizon, and they sent me a replacement BlackBerry. Now, which is this one. It reboots two, three times a day, period. It still does it. And the screen is messed up. It's okay, but after 10 minutes, it's hard to press, and I don't want to screw up the screen because it may mess up. Now, I've researched into the remedies to fix the rebooting issue because Verizon has no idea what I'm talking about. Now, I've ran into that information saying they will tell you they don't know what, they're, what you're talking about. Verizon told me that they hardly have any BlackBerry Storm 2's that reboot. They just don't see it. Now, I've researched and I've looked into every possible remedy to fix my rebooting. And they've ranged from deleting applications I don't use to deleting BlackBerry Maps. Google Maps, because supposedly Google Maps has known issues of crashing Blackberries. I don't know, but there are several. There are several applications in the Blackberry that I do not use. There are Verizon applications such as VZW Navigator. So I uninstall them, and my phone still reboots. I've got two solutions that have worked for me. The first solution. If you are with Verizon Wireless, this will work. It is a very simple remedy. It will only take two minutes. You're going to take the back of your phone off. You're going to take out the battery, and you're going to remove your SIM card. Not your SD card, your SIM card. Now, Verizon is a CDMA network, but several of their phones are what they call global ready, which means they also run on a SIM card, and they come with a Verizon SIM card. Now, the global ready means that if you are traveling overseas or you're in another country and they have a GSM network you can procure an unlock code for your BlackBerry it will unlock it and you can use native GSM SIM cards now if you are not with Verizon and you have an unlocked BlackBerry Storm 2 or you want to unlock your, your BlackBerry for use with another GSM network when your contract is up that solution will not work now upon discovering remedies on the internet and what Verizon told me I was thinking that maybe the current operating system that I'm running is what's causing me to crash now Verizon BlackBerry technical support told me that they're supposed to be the most current update was supposed to fix the rebooting well it's not now the directions that I will tell you in this second solution are going to be directions that Verizon or your cell phone company will tell you to update to the most current operating system so don't worry now the solution is try downgrading to the most previous previous version now what you're going to do okay first off my Blackberry Storm 2 came running version 5.0.0.1015 bundle 1656 
Now, I will put all the version information in the annotations and or descriptions of the video. Now, I removed my SIM card and I ran two days and not rebooted once. Now, I re-put in the SIM card and this is, tonight is my the end of my first night of doing what I did and it has yet to reboot and that's because I downgraded. Now, I'm probably playing with fire by saying that, but I don't care. People need to know my solutions in case if it may work for them. Now, to let you know, if you downgrade, you will not lose any personal information such as contacts, emails, text messages. You will not lose any third-party applications you've downloaded. Nothing that you will that you've downloaded or put into your phone will be deleted. I did it, and it's fine. They're all there. Now, how you're going to downgrade your system? This is how you do it. You're going to open up the BlackBerry Desktop Manager. Now, if you have a BlackBerry, odds are you're going to have one. I'm going to include the link to download it, the most current version of Desktop Manager, if you don't have it. Now, you're going to plug in your BlackBerry. Now, some people have their BlackBerry set to sync all their information when they plug it in. If you have this, do not worry. Just let it go. Let it do what it needs to do. Now, when you're, if you are running the most current version of BlackBerry Desktop Manager, which I believe is, I don't know, I can't, I can't uh, if you have, if you downloaded it, um, then you should have the most current version. Now, once your device is ready and it's ready to do what you need to do, it should have a picture of your phone and it should tell you what what phone it is, the pen, the phone number assigned, and it should tell you the software version you run. Now, me, if there are updates available, it'll have a red asterisk and it should tell you update available. And it should tell you when it last synced and when it was last backed up. Now, what you're going to do is up in the top left of the desktop manager is a link that says device. It's a, well, it's a tab. You're going to click on it. It's going to drop down the menu and it's going to have a list of options. Now you're going to find the option that says update my device. For me, it is the fourth link from the bottom, including the exit link. Now click on that. Now, if you have updated your BlackBerry every time a new update comes out, and it, once that window loads, it'll tell you there's it, it'll either, it's either running the most current version or there's no updates available. Well, don't close that. Down in the bottom is a link that says view other versions or view previous versions. You can click on that. Now, like I said, if you're running the most current version at the time of this video, it is January 20th, 2011, then you are running version 5.0.0.105 bundle 1656 platform 4.2.0.442 again that will be in the description of and or annotations what you're going to do is you're going to click the box underneath that which is version 5.0.0.713 bundle 1206 platform 4.2.0.275 now <clears throat> I will also include that version number now you're going to follow the instructions do what it tells you to do to install this update and it's going to tell you when you say yes that it's going to delete your information do not worry it's only the operating system information you will still have your personal information just tell it to do it and it will it will go through, it may take 30 minutes, it could take less, it could take longer because it's got to delete your operating system, reload the new operating system. Now, do not unplug your BlackBerry or turn off your computer or close the program until it is done because it will mess up your phone. It could brick it, it could screw it up forever or you can't fix it. I had that issue and the BlackBerry desktop manager stopped responding and I had to close it and I had to reinstall the software which it was very hectic it really irritated me and that is not what caused my BlackBerry to reboot so I don't want to hear it it's not what happened
it was rebooting before I tried to update and it did that well when you are done and you have the current well the most previous one installed it should fix the rebooting issue now it should tell you when it's safe to unplug it and when you do that it will have the version uh, 5.0.0.713 now every time you plug your blackberry into the desktop manager it will tell you there's an update available now if you are worried that it may still reboot if you update you can back up your files and it should save whatever is on your phone the whatever you know personal information applications the operating system it, it should have it saved and if you find a software that you uh, an operating system that fixes the reboots and it has worked for you disregard what I say you don't have to take my advice you don't have to listen and you don't have to refuse to update because I don't want to now in the future they may have a version that will fix it for real but as of tonight I'm at the end of my first night and it has not rebooted once playing with fire again I don't care I like the storm too I love it I love blackberry if it were not for the rebooting issue I would not be getting so many phones. Now I will be getting a third one because the screen is messed up but other than that it's fine. Now I believe and I hope that this fixes it and if it does I'm perfect. Now I hope that my video has helped people who are having my issue because some people want to leave want to leave Blackberry because it reboots in the middle of phone calls reboots in the middle of conference calls and some people run their businesses from their blackberries and they can't be having that so I hope that I, fi I hope that I've quelled any issues anybody's had and if you have any questions feel free to email me um, or comment and I will include all the information in the annotations and the descriptions I hope everybody enjoyed my post 